Hey everybody, what's up? Chad Wesley Smith here bringing you another week of our Week in Review series as we look at the training of Marissa Inda, Kristen Dunsmore, Maddie Forbert, and Joanne Ada as they lead up to USAPL Raw Nationals. So all the women right now are in their second week of a block. Marissa, Kristen, and Joanne in a four-week block uh, as they use an alternating periodization scheme alternating weeks between heavy benching and squatting one week and heavy deadlifting the other week. Maddie is in her second week of a three-week block uh, and she's less experienced, only about two years of powerlifting experience for her using a more linear style where she just builds up weight, um, you know, heavier squat, heavier bench week after week after week. Uh, a little bit of alternating scheme in the deadlift because it is more fatiguing. So this was an exciting week hit some big deadlift PRs for Marissa and Kristen, Maddie's bench continuing to, to do great, and a squat PR for Joanne. So stay up to date with this, uh, with this series, subscribe, let me know what questions you have below in the comments if you're interested in online coaching. From me, Marissa, Kristen, check out juggernautcoaching.com. All right, leading things off here on Monday, Marissa has been uh, continuing with her tempo squats, uh, you know, just trying to repattern her technique a little bit, slightly wider stance. You know, it's, it's, it's tough. We're not 100% sure if this is really better for her. Uh, you know, in, in some parts, it's, it's great because maybe it gets a little bit more hip involved in the movement uh, and makes it easier to see depth. But at the same time, when you have a lifter so advanced as Marissa, world champion, multiple-time national champion, it is difficult to make uh, very drastic technical changes. But she's working hard. I'm proud of her there. Here is Maddie uh, tying her 5-rep max PR. This is 122.5 kilos uh, for 5 reps. Um, so she does a really good job of descending aggressively, and she's got a great build for the squat. On some of these, though, you can see her losing a little bit of tension in the hole and her hips moving back out of the hole, uh, where we want to keep her more on her forefoot so she can stand straight up with it. But, uh, you know, pretty easy to tie a PR there. So this next week, she'll be looking to make a pretty significant 5 rep max PR. Uh, here's Joanne also working on the tempo squats, and these have been great for Joanne in terms of helping her ability to kind of grind out of the hole better. Uh, something that Joanne's been struggling with on this is finding the right mix of bending at the knees and back uh, to, or sorry, bending at the, at the knees and hips to initiate the movement. Uh, she actually does better with this as the set goes along, uh, like the fourth, fifth reps. Uh, tend to be better for her than the first and second when, where she's leading too much at the hips. Uh, but she, she's doing a good job here uh, building that ability to grind out of the hole. Joanne's actually going to be competing as a 57 at Nationals where she was on the 63 kilo uh, in the 63 kilo class at these past IPF World Championships. And here's Joanne doing uh, you know one of our favorite our favorite uh, squat accessory movements. I almost feel like Max and I should have looked for some kind of kickback on, on belt squats or from Pit Shark or something because uh, I think we really push, <laughs> push the trend of these on people. Uh, but belt squats, great exercise to load the legs with, without having to load the back. Here's Marissa doing some of her accessory work, uh, just some hip thrusts. The barbell hip thrust, or however you want to load it, is a really popular exercise, but a lot of times you see people loading it really heavy and not actually achieving hip extension in it. So you can see there, Marissa's getting full hip extension on those, and, and that's really important you know, to do what the exercise is intended to. So Kristen has been dealing with some uh, glute issues, maybe some preformis issues since her last meet. So here you can just see a couple of the exercises she's doing to help correct that. The step-ups uh, to address any unilateral problems, band around the knees, goblet squats to make sure the glutes, the glutes are firing properly, and then unilateral uh, glute bridges. Again, same idea as Marissa, we're looking for full hip extension, and the unilateral part of Kristen uh, makes sure that because she's having a unilateral glute issue, that she's not shifting her weight too much uh, to one side to compensate. 
Moving on to Tuesday, this is a bench press day, uh, a bit lighter day for Marissa and Kristen. Um, so they're not they're not going heavy on competition bench. They're doing some some board pressing or kind of whatever needs to get creative. Here is a rep PR for Maddie, 80 kilos for five. Uh, her previous meat PR is 82 and a half for a single. Uh, so sh her bench is really just improving very rapidly. Um, if you've been watching this series for a few weeks, you know that Kristen has been avoiding competition bench press uh, as a variation almost entirely uh, because we, we felt like she actually had some technical regression going into her last meet from doing too much competition bench pressing. And that can be problematic when uh, is it, it sort of dulls the neural pathways if, if uh, you do too much of the same exercise. Um, and you can run into an issue of adaptive resistance there. So I think that's what we had with Kristen's bench press technique. So the, the first block of, of this current train cycle, we've been completely avoiding competition bench pressing to just resensitize those neural pathways. And then as she gets into the peaking, we'll introduce a lot, a lot more uh, competition bench pressing. And even that time, uh, you know, a month of training it for an experienced lifter like Kristen should be sufficient to, uh, you know, to, to remember her good technique, really. Uh, here's Joanne. Joanne had a heavier bench press this week, a little bit of a scheduling change for her because of some illness the, the previous week. So there's a 72 and a half kilos or maybe 75 kilos for a single and then 77 and a half here. Um, you know, with, with benching with the feet down for Joanne sometimes aggravates some existing hip problems that she's had. So we avoid that some, but happy with a really strong pause there. Good lift. Um, you know, just making small, solid progress. Here is a deadlift PR for Marissa. This is 175 kilos, 385 pounds um, for three reps. So 380 for three was her, her previous PR. And Marissa has been working hard in her assistance work with the halting deadlift to improve that tension and positioning off the floor. Uh, the lockout starts a little bit later than I'd like on that on that third rep, but she stayed very patient, finished it well. Uh, looking for a, you know, excited for a deadlift PR coming up at nationals for Marissa. Here is Kristen also making a deadlift PR. This is 180 kilos for five reps, a very easy five reps. Uh, it looks like she probably could have done maybe seven or eight reps on <laughs> on this set. Uh, so, you know, great job of bringing her hips early and, and quickly to the bar at lockout. Um, you know, just overall really, really solid set for Kristen. So excited about her deadlift progress. Now for Joanne, because of those hip uh, issues that I mentioned earlier on the bench press, we tend to alternate the focus of her of her deadlifting each week um, because pulling sumo from the floor can be pretty stressful to the hip. So she alternates weeks between uh, sumo from the floor or sumo from blocks along with conventional from the floor or conventional from blocks. If you're a sumo deadlifter, make sure that you're including conventional deadlifting in your in your program. Uh, one, to build hamstring, glute, and low back strength, and two, to give your hips a break from uh, the stress of, of the positions in the sumo deadlift, uh, as well as to avoid any adaptive resistance like we were talking about with Kristen in the bench press. Maddie's deadlift coming along well. Hips a little bit late to the bar. We want to we wanna get those going earlier, but she's doing a, a good job with, that was a, a more moderate deadlifting day, I think uh, 125 kilos for four triples. Here on Thursday is a uh, lighter bench press day for Kristen, uh, Maddie, and Joanne. They all bench three times a week. Marissa uh, only benches two times a week. That's mostly because, well, one, Marissa is a better bench presser, 97 and a half at 52 kilos. Uh, she's been training longer. She's more muscular in the upper body, so those take a little bit longer to recover from. Um here you can see Joanne uh, in, a, in a different weight room, a great weight room, uh, California, University of California Golden Bear weight room as we were up there for, uh, 
for a little weightlifting training camp. So Marissa and I were up in in the Bay Area with Max and Joanne, Alyssa, Q, Christy Brewer, uh, and we got the, a fun opportunity to go into uh, California Memorial Stadium and lift in their incredible weight room, like 36 racks set up like that, turf, um, yeah, just a, a beautiful, beautiful facility. So here Joanne's just going through her, her lighter day, feet up, uh, a little bit closer than her, her normal day. So yeah, nothing, nothing too exciting there. Just, just putting in quality work, trying to put on a little bit of muscle uh, and just give her more exposure to the bench press. Here on Friday, um, for Joanne, this is a squat PR, 125 kilos for four. Uh, 125 kilos for three was her previous PR, and that was as a 63 kilo lifter, though she was never a true, like a full 63. She was maybe up to 61, and here she's about 59.5. Uh, working on some hip shift issues, which aren't as apparent in this video, but uh, she's definitely going to need to address. I'm looking particularly gigantic in that, in that video angle. This is uh, the lighter week of our alternating scheme for Kristen. Uh, the previous week she had squatted 160 kilos for a triple in the back squat. And because of this glute, ongoing glute issue for Kristen, the front squat doesn't aggravate that as much. Uh, so we're choosing front squat for that reason, as well as it allowing her to have a hard workout, uh, but that's not as stressful overall because the weights just aren't as heavy. So that's 110. I think she did four triples at 110 in the front squat. Same idea for, for Joanne, even though she, she went heavy on the uh, with a PR in the back squat, we actually cut her back squat work off a little bit uh, in terms of uh, limited the number of back down sets and switched them to front squat because uh, she could feel her positions a little bit better here and hopefully not exacerbate that hip shifting issue that she's been having. Uh, on this Maddie's lighter squat day of the week, she squats heavy on Monday. And then Friday is sort of the secondary day for her. She's got some pause squats uh, as well as high bar squats. And the pause squats are just, you know, because she does squat with that fast ascent and can become a little bit maybe too reliant on the rebound, that the pause squats help eliminate that issue. And then the high bar squats are just a simple way to get more volume, uh, give her back a little bit of a break, put extra stress on the legs, uh, like I said, she's got a really good build for the squat uh, in terms of having short legs. So even in the low bar squat, she's able to stay pretty upright, uh, similar to a high bar squat. And then the next stuff you'll see here will be some extra deadlifting work for Maddie uh, going off of blocks on this, her second deadlift day of the week. Uh, you know, the blocks just alleviate a, a little bit of uh, a little bit of low back stress because the start position isn't quite as tough to get in. And same idea with Joanne going off of blocks on her secondary deadlift day of the week. It's giving her that sumo practice because we alternate between sumo and conventional uh, without beating her hips up too much, letting her handle a pretty heavy weight. So great looking uh, sumo block pulls there for Joanne. And then finally, our last day of training for the week, Saturday. Um, this is sort of the secondary bench press day for Marissa, secondary of her two days, and the second heaviest day of the three bench days per week for the other women who are benching three days a week. Some feet up work, making sure that the, that the chest is getting plenty of work and it's not just reliant upon positioning and the arch. The Spoto Press is a great one uh, that Kristen is performing here. If you have trouble maintaining tension uh, with the bar in your chest, or if you struggle through the, the midpoint of the lift, as because it eliminates all leg drive, it's gonna build more stability, more shoulder strength, really good exercise. Uh, you know, Same idea, we're doing this with, with Joanne, feet up, making the muscles work hard, eliminating eliminating the arch. I know all the, the Instagram you know coaches wanna say that these girls can just bench big because of, uh, because of their arch. So, you know, we, we're making sure that their, their muscles are strong too. Uh, and Joanne, again, giving her hips a break. And then there's some secret behind the scenes 
footage of uh, some bear wandered into Max's gym in CrossFit Oakland and was going on the Airdyne bike. Good Lord, my legs hurt after that. Craziest leg pump ever. Uh, but, you know, trying to stay a little bit fit. All right, so there's another week in review. Great week of training for these women. Really excited about the progress they're making heading towards USAPL Raw Nationals. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel, follow along with this series, share it with a friend who wants to, who wants to learn more about how we train for powerlifting. And if you're interested in online coaching, check out juggernautcoaching.com. We got all kinds of different options no matter if you're a beginner, intermediate, advanced athlete, chasing national championships, trying to make world teams, powerlifting, weightlifting, super total, strongman, powerbuilding, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching.